I am Ash from Ill12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to allow users to change the background images, the background image of images you have uploaded yourself. Um, so what I've got here is um, a page, um, it's similar to my, to the video changing background colour, so a solid colour. Um, so what I'm going to do is go into Dreamweaver, you'll probably recognise a bit of this code from the um, change image color, change background color. Sorry. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is in this href here, or next to it in the anchor tag, I want to put on click one a function called one for JavaScript. Then we can copy this. Oops. Just like that. And change it to two and then to three. Okay, um, so next what I'm going to do is go into JavaScript and create these functions called one and then copy this down for two and for three. Okay, so what we could do is in number one now, if I just come in and create the function or the code wrapper for the function. So what do we want to change? We want to change the body and want to modify the CSS code. And this is going to be background dash image. I want to change this to a URL and that is images forward slash one dot jpg. So we can copy this. So basically these are the images you want to change to. So now if I come out and refresh um as you can see the image changes so we've successfully done that but what we need to do now is um, if I put if I save this out as another page so page.php and then if I just get rid of this link here and then go back to the um, index page to create a link on the home page Okay, so if I now refresh and go to another page, as you can see the background image disappears. So what we need to do for this is create PHP sessions. So what we can do is on index what we can do is put in here in the link um, BG image, so a question mark BG image equals one. Then we can copy this for the other two, put two and then three. And also remember to do this on page.php as well. So one, two and three. Okay, back to index. What we're going to do now is create some PHP code at the top. PHP, what we can do is start the session first of all, so always start the session. And then we can put if if is set dollar underscore get bg image we can put in here create a variable called image and that is going to contain dollar underscore get bg image and then what we can do now we've got what image you clicked on we can now start the session call this bg image and the value of this is going to be what image the user clicked on um, so now outside the if statement we're going to create a variable called bg image bg image session and that's equal to dollar underscore session um, bg image so now if I copy this and put it on page as well um, let's see. now normally if I just go back to index um, okay um, one, one second okay so what you'll get is um, an undefined index error message this is because the session has not yet started. Well, you've not created the session yet. 
so that's why so what we can do to get rid of this is in front of this line here so bg image session variable if you put the at symbol and do that on page.php as well and um, that will successfully get rid of the um, that error message we're not we're not turning off error reporting we're just getting rid of any error messages that that line may produce okay so last thing we're going to do um, so that should work basically if I click on this um, as you can see it changes for a slight moment then goes back um, and same with another page this is because we've set the session but we've not actually we've changed the background image using JavaScript then we've navigated away from that page wrap or in theory we've gone to, we've refreshed the page so the JavaScript is no longer in use so what we need to do is um, call that function back um, so what we can do is if we come down underneath this script here and put in script type is equal to text forward slash javascript and then in here if we put some php to echo bg image session and we can concatenate on um, the function so the uh, what you put at the end of the function so if we copy this and paste it into page this should now be fully working if I click on this one oops let me just have a quick look Right, okay, B G image session. Okay, so let's try it now. There we go. And one, if we go to another page, it stays as that image. So that's how to change the background image, allow users to change the background image and to save them within a session. Um so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.